wrong. You missed the parry. I keep repeating this. Pirouette always followed by a back cross parry. Always. Barely two days have passed since they found you. Mm-hmm. I owe my recovery to you. Thank you, Triss. Remember anything? Not much. Look below. I know the moves. Pirouette. Parry. Cut. I can't explain it, but I feel a bond when we speak. I know you were important. Geralt, we go. I need to think. Time flows slowly at Care Morin. How do you feel? Fine. Anyone know who the intruders are? Ordinary bandits would never attack Kaer Morin. That we know, Marigold. You could try some of your famous magic. In due time, Lambert. Enough! We need to check the other possible passages to the upper courtyard. What's happening? They're trying to break down the gate! They won't get anywhere without a battering ram. Shit! What is that? A frightener. One mean beast. Savola. I know him. A mage as ambitious as he is insane. They're coming up. There's more! They're entering the upper courtyard! The one in glasses is the professor. Murder for hire. I sense magic. There's a sorcerer among them. Professor, you know the way. Get to it. The professor is wanted in Redania, Tamaria, and Kedwin. A real maggot. I don't recognize the sorcerer. Marigold, I'm interested in whether you can disarm Savola. The rest is witch's work. I'll try. They're coming. What did you learn? The bandits are in the lab, searching for something. The mage used the circle of elements to create a magic barrier. The plague! You're all children. Why didn't you mention the circle? Triss, child, it didn't seem important. If the mage aligned with the circle, he can create a stable portal through which he'll travel to anywhere on the continent, taking your equipment with him. All right, we made a mistake, but you said the mage was harmless. I said I didn't know him. I think we should protect the lab above all. Don't panic, Marigold. We know you'd like to see our witch's secrets. Vesemir, if that idiot doesn't shut it, I'll... Enough! Lambert, stop baiting Triss. Show her some respect. Triss, if we go to the lab, they'll have us surrounded. We know tactics. Maybe we should split up. Geralt's right. We need to protect the lab and kill the Frightener. Who goes where? Only I can break the barrier. I'm going inside. Vesemir? I'll stay and handle the Frightener and Savola. What about you, Geralt? We may both need your help. The lab is important. I'm going with Triss. Me too. It's decided, then. Eskel and Lambert will stay with me. Savola just cast a spell. Something's happening. The ground is shaking. Feel it? They're breaking through. Defend the laboratory! This could be a hard fight, Geralt. Take this potion. Witchers call it the Tawny Owl. It restores endurance. Very useful when fighting mages. Thanks. Let's go.
You'll go no further, White One. I'll summon a powerful demon that will tear you apart. A bluff. He's exhausted from teleportation. Magic light is about all he can muster. Go. We'll deal with him and join you at the barrier. Underestimating an opponent. Now the energy of my people will be really stronger. They're ransacking the laboratory. The other mage is... I underestimated him. Hurry. Uh, uh, oh. Thank you, Geralt. I hope this potion helps. That was terrible. I dreamt Lambert was with me. He was staring at me, saying things like, Don't go dying on me, Marigold. Calling me big-headed. I'm so glad to see you. What? I'm glad you're feeling better. I know we should set out, but I have a feeling we won't be back. Perhaps ever. Won't you stay just a bit longer? With me? I suppose we have some time. I'm so happy you're back. When I saw you, all the feelings I tried to deny returned. Stronger than ever. Triss, I'm not ready to talk about the past. Of course. I, I shouldn't pressure you. I just feel so... <laughs> the powers. I'm behaving like a teenager. <sighs> Let's focus on the present. I guess I disappointed you all. Forgive me. Nothing to forgive. What I felt when I learned you were alive... Hard to compare to anything. Oh... Except maybe what I feel as I look at you. I missed you so. Let's see if the best bed in Kaer Morin can hold us. Geralt, a pleasure, as always. As always? You don't remember anything? Unfortunately. Well, you have something to look forward to then. No matter. Tell me, how did the battle end? They broke into the lab, killed Leo, stole our mutagens, and escaped. Poor Vesemir. Another protege dead prematurely. We delayed the funeral until you awoke. Thank you. As for the mutagens... Their loss could prove catastrophic. Let's not lose any more time. Unless there's something you'd like to ask me? Know anything more about the sorcerer who ransacked the lab? He's very powerful. He completely controlled the energy he drew from the Circle. We may soon be facing another Vilgefortz. Who? No matter. I have something I'd like to teach you. Geralt, can we go? Can you restore my memory? I'd have to examine you. There's a good chance your memory will return on its own. How much chance? That's difficult to say. It might help if I knew what caused you to lose your memory. Well, no time for that now. Geralt, can we go? The theft. What are its possible consequences? Most sorcerers and rulers would sell their greedy, power-hungry souls to get the mutagens. Only a master of the arcane arts can use that knowledge. Not many of those left. What about wealthy merchants, dukes, kings? Perhaps. Anything's possible. But speculating wastes time. We just don't have enough information. True. Geralt, can we go? We don't know where the bandits came from or who's behind them. We'll draw attention if we venture out as a group. By splitting up, we can also cover more territory. I'll go west. I know a few people there, and I prefer the coastal Then climate. I'll head east, to Kedwin, unless someone objects. 
That's fine. Which way should I go? South, to Tamaria. King Foltest owes you a debt of gratitude. Some time ago, you removed a curse from his daughter. You might happen on the bandit's trail there. And you, Triss? I'll try to use my influence to find the bandits. If I learn anything, I'll contact Geralt. I'll gather what information I can and find you in Vizina. Triss. Don't, Geralt. I detest goodbyes. I'm liable to cry, and there's nothing more pathetic than a sorceress in tears. Don't get killed, Geralt. I don't think I could deal with that again. I'll see you soon. See you, Triss. You're mistaken. I have him under control. And not just him. They're all leading out of my hand. I regret that Voltest is away at the summit, but I trust you'll tend to the King's Council. I assume you've resolved matters with Livarden as well. Yes. I made an offer and he accepted. He claims his superiors had similar plans, but we beat them to it. Men can do nothing but talk and then always claim the initiative. And how is your Witcher? I should be able to convince him. Don't overdo it. Geralt can be exceptionally perceptive. I know. I must get back. I'll contact you when it's all over. Never let the Witcher guess what you hide from him. Triss? Should you be up? I'd rather make sure you've recovered completely. How? Don't worry. This won't hurt a bit. Well, you seem to be at full strength. It must be that unusual Witcher's metabolism. Triss, how did I get here? Pure coincidence. I was scanning for magic anomalies and happened upon a false trail set by Kalkstein. You found me in the swamp? What happened there? I don't know. The Alchemist is still there, examining solid stone. But he won't find anything. The greater anomalies are here in Vizima. Magic anomalies in Vizima? Yes. I'd appreciate it if you could help me figure them out. But back to your health. I thought I was at full strength. You misunderstood me. Physically, nothing's wrong. It's your mind that worries me. Explain. You raved for hours. I had no choice but to read your thoughts to learn about your injuries and which poisons you took this time. I'm sure you read beyond that. I couldn't help it. Your thoughts were quite loud. In any case, I know about your recent adventures. Can you help me? Recover your memory? I doubt anyone can, but there's a small chance... A small chance of what? From what I saw, I think you would benefit by creating a stable personality. Meaning? Geralt, please, this is important. Just limit the psychobabble. You need to take a stand on the world's problems. It doesn't matter what position, just that you choose one. A strong identity may help restore your memory. Can't you just tell me what you saw? No, I don't want you turning into my vision of Geralt. I want you to decide for yourself who you are, without looking back. I shouldn't take an interest in the past? Exactly. Your memory should return in due course. We'll see. Geralt. How did you get here? Long story. When you men went chasing around... Which proved effective. By some miracle, I decided to look for Salamandra using unconventional methods. Any results? Very good ones. You'll learn it all in due time. Why not now? To get this information, I had to agree not to tell you. Patience, Witcher. Who were you talking to through the mirror? You heard me? Ah, sorceress business. Nothing important. Sounded serious. I had to make a few promises to learn about Salamandra. You could. Trust me, it was nothing important. You said something about magic anomalies. Various things can cause them, but more importantly, they can be the cause of true evil. 
When I last felt this way, you and a sorceress were trying to capture a genie, destroyed half a city in the process. You probably have no recollection, but a lot hung in the balance. I don't recall. I could use your help. I have some magic sensors that need to be placed around Vizima. They'll help us locate the anomaly source. All right, give me the sensors. I'll take care of it. Always eager to please. What are friends for? Hmm. I saw a perfect wall cavity in the trade quarter near Town Hall. Place one there, a second in the temple quarter near the entrance to the sewers, and the third in Vizima's cemetery. We'll create a typical Radcliffe Triangle. You know, of course, that triangulation is most effective in these cases. I'll see you later. See you. Oh, I nearly forgot. What? Louvarden, a merchant, wants to see you. He hosts banquets at the new Naricourt. I don't like banquets. Important people will attend. I don't know. Including Princess Ada, whose curse you lifted? Apparently, she's slightly obsessed with you. I'll think about it. I'll be there. All right, I'm convinced. Maybe I can gather some information there. Six this evening. Here's the pass that makes you official in the trade quarter. A pass? Well, in addition to a quarantine, the authorities of Azima have imposed martial law. How'd I miss that? It only covers the trade quarter, which you haven't entered. So how do these passes work? Only the quarter's residents are allowed to move about. I have a house here, so I was able to get a pass. So what do I do? Well, I registered you as residing here. Falsely, of course. Listen, about my identity. Progress already? I'm still analyzing. Geralt. What's with the passes? Well, in addition to a quarantine... How'd I miss... It only... So how... Only the... So what do... Well, falsely... I'll see you later. Here we are. Wipe that frown off your face. You'll be fine. Can't we go back to your place? Make sure I have no internal injuries. Later, Geralt. Come on. This isn't so bad. Let's mingle. Geralt, allow me to introduce Burgomeister Velarad. Charmed. Greetings. It's uh, been a while. Velarad is King Foltest's right hand. No need for formal introductions. If you wish to open a factory or a shop, uh, kill a monster, or petition the king, you must come to me. I'll remember that. Excuse us, Burgermeister, but we need to say hello to the other guests. Milady, allow me to present the sorceress Triss Marigold, and... Duet, I know who stands before me. We know each other, do we not, Witcher? One could say so, Princess. A princess, indeed, though I do not always feel like one. So many duties. You could not imagine, Witcher. Why do you stare? Is my dress displeasing? Forgive me, milady, but even the finest dress would pale in comparison to you. Mind your tongue, mutant. Duet. I will decide if and when I am offended. Your Highness, he is an aberration. Silence. It was a nicety. Leave us for now. You've met everyone who's anyone. I need to speak with Luvarden. You behave yourself. Beware of anyone who tries to pry information from you. From me? But I'm just a witcher. Don't be fooled. Anything you say may have political ramifications. Geralt. Ah, uh, this is important, Triss. What's important? Ada knows something. I think I can get it out of her. Really? That spoiled little vixen, well, she wants some cataplepus. Rare would be best. Are you kidding? No. Triss, could you conjure up something, please? Sorcery at parties is considered very unseemly. I'll create a distraction. I'll do better myself. Catoblepis steak. Rare for the princess. Thank you, Triss. You know I can conjure up orgasms, too. I think I prefer traditional methods. I'll find you after I've spoken with Ada. Geralt, I spoke with Declan. And? The two of you should talk. What's so worthy of my time? Don't be so quick to judge. He'll make you an offer, one I think you should accept. Sure you're not using me as one of your tools? Only in bed, Witcher. Only in bed. About my identity. Any progress? 
I'm still analyzing. I'm glad you've come. What is it? The old saying goes, any enemy of my enemy is my friend. Get to the point. Geralt, I urge you to change your tone. Listen to what Declan has to say. Let me guess. You have dirty work needs doing and thought a witcher with amnesia perfect for the job. Exactly. Will you help destroy Salamandra? I'll help, but it hardly means we're friends. Wonderful! It's as we've heard! All secret societies need gold. Fistek yields the largest profits for Salamander. Our spies say there's a new Salamander camp in the swamps. The herbs are harvested, then conducted to another base in Vizima's temple quarter. A swamp and slums again. Great. We're confident you can destroy both camps. If you discover papers, evidence that might aid us, return to me. Yes, sir. Permission to commence mission, sir. Both camps are new, without sure defenses. A simple matter for you. The Salamanders would slaughter groups of humans easily. Much simpler to sacrifice one Witcher. I'll return once I have new information. See me tomorrow if you need help. Triss obtained this formula especially for you. Witcher. Not finding this party dull? Anything more interesting in mind? <sighs> At home, Geralt. At home. Witcher. I placed the sensors as you asked. I know. As soon as you did, I scanned all of Vizima and found the source of the anomaly. Where? A boy named Alvin at St. Lebiota's Hospital. How can a child be the source? You've forgotten everything. He must have immense powers. Elder blood must course through his veins. Elder blood? The gift of Lara. We need to rein in Alvin's destructive abilities. Hurry, fetch him from the hospital. I'll see what I can do. Will they let me take him? Not readily. Your friend Shani refuses to hand him over. She has no idea what the entire city faces if he spins out of control. I don't know how to talk to her. She's your friend. Settle it with her. I'd be grateful. One more thing. Elder blood attracts creatures from the beyond. Ghosts and specters. You might find this scroll useful. Witcher. What's the gift of Lara? A long, complex story, but I'll keep it short. Lara Doran Epshiadal was no normal elf, more like a genetic bomb. She was to couple with another genetically special individual and bear an even more exceptional child. But that never happened. Lara fell in love with Kurgenin of Lod, a mage, a human. Lara and Kurgenin's children, known as those of Elderblood, proved hard to follow. Thus the sorcerers who had hatched the plan lost control of their precious gene. Listen, I found a magical stone at the Salamandra hideout. Interesting. Let me see. Geralt, it's a telecommunicator. It leaves a magical trace of any transfers. Use plain language. With a bit of luck, we can use this to find the Salamandra base. So? I need to speak with Luvarden. We'll talk later. Geralt. Know anything more about that magic communicator I gave you? It allows conversations over short distances. With some knowledge of magic, one can draw quite a bit of information from it. If the salamanders were using it to communicate with their base, I should be able to pinpoint its location. Short distances. Interesting. Can you check the last communication? The communicator sent a signal to a house in Vizima. It's marked on your map. Is there something I should know? I have a hunch. I'll check it out. All right, but be careful. I'll see you later. Geralt. Triss, about Alvin. Mm-hmm. Is he safe? Yes. Dandelion brought him here and explained. I knew I could count on you. Is Shawnee clear about this? No? Then go tell her the boy stays with me. End it. I... Well, if I have to. Though I'd rather face a swarm of ghouls. Geralt. I'll see you later. Geralt. Uh, I spoke with Shani. She understood, but didn't take it too well. I'm glad that's settled. Alvin needs someone who knows magic. 
Geralt, I wanted to talk to you about the future. About us. Triss. I'm not jealous. I'd just like to know where we are. Can't this wait? I have this job, clients getting impatient. Please think about it, Geralt. We needn't talk. A symbolic gift would do. Say, a ring? Couldn't you just read my mind? I could, but I don't want to. If you give me a ring, I'll treat it as a pledge. If you don't, I'll try to understand. See you, Witcher. Geralt, how's Alvin? Dandelion, do you always have to butt your nose into... Just asking. Something troubling you? She's just... Uh, I don't know anymore. Let's go. Can't talk about women on an empty stomach. But... No buts. Zoltan and I agreed to have a drink today. A mercenary dwarf and a wandering troubadour who knows all the loose women in town. I couldn't choose better advisors. Let's go. Hey, Zoltan. Greetings, Dandelion. Get out. Our monster slayer looks bitter. Something happened? Nothing you need to know. Geralt is experiencing cognitive dissonance, a rather unpleasant tension that accompanies the appearance of two conflicting cognitions, be they thoughts or judgments. You're so full of shit, Dandelion. Simply put, he cannot decide. I assume the dissonance relates it. My dissonance is nothing to you. That's where you're wrong, Geralt. We're your only friends, and friends help each other. You'll see. We'll have a drink, and you'll know exactly what to do about Triss. Somehow I don't think so. Ooh, the vodka's nicely chilled. Gentlemen, cheers! Damn all dissonances! Ooh, delicious. Nothing like a good belt of liquor. Yeah, not bad. Incidentally, Zoltan, why are we drinking from tankards? I swear I saw glass in here. Serious problems require serious solutions. Half measures get you nowhere. I get it. Half measures for Dandelion, though. He yammers enough as it is. Will you stop whimpering like a spoiled lass and spit it out? Triss is a fine woman. But? But I'm a witcher. Killing monsters is my destiny. Don't bullshit me about destiny, Geralt. I realized long ago that all those pathetic bits by Etlina and the like are the same crap and humbug as those dissonances. You may be right, but honestly, do you see me as a cobbler or a farmer? Mm, no. I guess I see your point. Damn it, I don't get it. What's one got to do with the other? No one said you'd have to stop slaying monsters, right? She didn't say either way. Let me explain, Dandelion. Just because a woman doesn't say it, doesn't mean she doesn't want it. In fact, they often say they want something when they really want the opposite. I'll drink to that. Oof. Strong enough to make you cry. I'll tell you what's up with dames. You can theorize all you want, but you'll never figure out what's going on inside their heads. There's just no understanding women. Highly original, Dandelion. Sneer away, but you won't put me off. The problem is you don't know what you want. And you don't know what you're talking about. I've never had a family, but I am a poet. I know something about people. Tell me this. Do you want a family or not? Oh. Dandelion, it's not that simple. Answer the question. You know what I mean. If it weren't for this mess, Scoia'tael, the Order, Salamandra... If you only knew how much, Dandelion. Right. The family is the fundamental unit of society. <laughs> uh, screw it all. I've got the hiccups. That's not exactly what I was thinking of. I just want to settle down. I've heard that tone before. Let's have another drink. I can't throw these damn hiccups. I know. Let's go to a whorehouse. 
Make it your stag night. Dandelion, we were talking about relationships in case you didn't notice. Besides, you won't let me in. I'm a filthy non-human. Only the weight of your purse counts at the house of the night. Besides, the madam owes me a favor. Come on, Geralt. Live a little. Do they have dwarf women there? Sure they do. It's the best whorehouse in Tamaria. So, Geralt, you coming? Mm. I'm telling you, nothing like a trip to the whorehouse to get you thinking clearly. All right. Let's go. So you love me and have forgotten her? Triss, I... You're sweet, you know. The only one I trust. You've endured a lot. Time for a reward. The little one's asleep, so let me show you some real magic. You're so good with Alvin. Listen, I've found us some allies. Great. In time for our meeting with Luvarden. We'll discuss it with him. Agreed. Geralt, you should know we've angered some powerful people. This meeting could change much. What do you mean? Tend to any unfinished business in Vizima and prepare. Afterwards, it may be too late. I'm ready. Let's meet at the new Nara Court. I'll inform the interested parties. How do you know who? I'm a sorceress, remember? And you think so loud, I can't help reading your mind. You finally arrive, Wolf. Greetings. We were waiting. Decided anything? Yaven has decided to cooperate. Under certain conditions, Duan. We'll deal with those conditions later. Everything's ready. Ready for what? Teleportation, Wolf. Thanks to the stone you commandeered. Triss will teleport you and Yaven to the Salamander base, where you'll open the gate. When? That's the final point we need to decide. Quiet. I hear footsteps. The door is locked. Open up! In the name of King Foltest and the Flaming Rose! It's Duet. I didn't foresee this. We know about your illegal gathering with the Elf! Open up, or you will hang! Sorceress teleport us now. My unit is ready. Are you crazy? He's right, Geralt. This may be our only chance. Akimbaga Hara! I once saw a mage who emerged from a teleport without his legs. They arrived five seconds later. On three, we break the door down! Maybe there's another way. Dark Ombra. I should have known you discover who was behind the counterfeit royal seals. I was wrong to see you merely as a monster slayer. The better you know me, the more impressive I become. Any chance you haven't deduced everything? Not much. I know you plan to stage a coup, assume power while your father is away. I also know you found an ally in Salamandra. My plans remain unchanged, and you won't stop me. I condemn you to death. Sentence to be carried out at once. Your Highness. Hada. Sorry, Geralt. The right of state never sleeps. As the condemned, I have the right to a last wish. One last kiss from you. A scandalous request. But the last wish is a sacred custom. So be it. You wish, Witcher. He has been spirited away! Someone will pay for this! Carol, is that you? How are things? I found Alvin. Alvin? Wait a minute. Triss wanted me to do something, hammered it into my head for an hour. Ah, oh, yeah! I have a Dimeridium amulet for him. Dandelion, I can't trust you to do anything. Is that so? Well, I just remembered I had a package for you. A package? I don't know. Something. But I might have lost it. Quit pouting, Dandelion. What do you have for me? Fine. I have a letter to you from your lover. Triss, hand it over.
Gerald? I wanted to answer that letter. Good idea. I have pen and parchment. Think of a beginning. Hmm. All right. Dearest Triss. Your romance is blooming. I'm happy for you, Gerald. I don't want to talk about it. Now what? Something about Alvin? I'm sure she's worried about him. Maybe I can describe what's happening here in murky waters. She could find that interesting. Sit down and write it. The fisherman could take it to Vizima. Happiness never lasts. I had no right to expose Alvin that way. The salamanders don't know the concept of mercy. They'd stop at nothing. I wasn't made to be a father. I'm a witcher. Sometimes I truly regret. I miss them. Her. Geralt, I was worried about you. I worried too. I'm proud of you. Heard how you fought for Alvin. Horrible things are happening in Vizima. True, but the king has placed me under his, um, protection. Tell me, where's Alvin? Uh, Alvin vanished into thin air one day, despite the amulet I gave him. Vanished? That's awful. He might be anywhere in time and space. I had hoped the amulet would block those abilities. I hope he'll be all right. Triss, I've been thinking about us. Oh, Geralt. I love you. I want to be with you no matter what. Love is the sole thing of beauty in these rotten times. Geralt. I could change, take fewer risks. We'd find Alvin, live together. I'd build a house. A house? Nice dream. You could breed horses and sheep. I'd tend the garden, cook meals. We'd sell what we grew to buy copper pots, iron rakes. We'd age with dignity. Evenings you'd play bagpipes of your own making as a remedy for my gloom. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Geralt, say something. I can't lose you. I'm here. These are trying times. We just need to survive. We can dream again when the madness passes. Triss, I... I love you too, Geralt. To the end of time. Geralt. What do you think about the situation with Ada? She's a Striga, Geralt. We both know that curses don't cast themselves. Any theories? Years ago when you first removed the curse, you ordered the princess to wear a necklace with an inclusion. Juniper, broom, and hazel branches were to be burned in her chambers. Don't tell me. Someone replaced the necklace and added crap to the fire. Yes. Someone close to her who knew the secret. Velarad might know something. So you think I should aid the king? Definitely. In a sense, I'm a political prisoner. I could teleport away, but that would be highly inappropriate, and I still have a few matters to settle here. What might those be? Don't concern yourself. I know you're busy with Yavin and his elven friends. Triss, don't be that way. You made your choice, Geralt. I've got to go. Geralt! What do you think happened to Alvin? Frankly, I never guessed he'd bypass the Dimeridium. That would be a feat for many sorcerers. Mm-hmm. Clearly, he has enough power to teleport himself anywhere, perhaps even through time. I've got to go. What was that? Not sure, but they looked like mutants. You came just in time. I could hardly desert you. Thanks, Triss. Geralt. Salamandra must be based inside the old manor. I think so too. So before I left the castle, I snatched a key to the crypt. From there we can enter the catacombs beneath the manor. Triss, you're a genius. Shall we? Geralt, there's no sense staying here. We don't know what Salamandra is planning. You need to enter their base. Then let's go. No, I'll stay here. I've still got strength left. So those mutants are going to taste some fire. It's too dangerous, Triss. Since when do I need your permission to cause trouble? Or you mine, for that matter? Triss. Another time. They're coming. Go. I detest tearful goodbyes. See you, Triss. 
Geralt, you're here. Are you all right? I told you I could handle them. What happened below? I'll tell you later. Geralt. The leader of Salamandra is dead. Great. Learn anything about who's behind Salamandra? Yes. The Order of the Flaming Rose. Oh, lords. But that means... Exactly. We need to return to Vizima and inform the King. I saw a boat at the dock. Let's meet there. Good. Geralt. What do you know about the Grand Master? He's very charismatic, with a talent for magic of the wild kind. Wild? Like a source, he uses the power intuitively. He had no mentor and attended no magic academies. I checked. He probably tamed the power through tremendous discipline, typical of religious sectarians. How powerful is he? Hard to say. He shields himself well. Geralt. Ready to cross? Yes, you? Grab the oars. Triss, tell this clown to get to the point. So what's this historic moment, Dandelion? With the kingdom in flames, Foltest struck a deal with his neighbors. Doubtless with that ambitious pup Radovid of Redania. Geralt, Foltest should learn of the Grand Master's betrayal. We need to talk to the king. I believe it's time we finalized our agreement, sire. I will counsel and support you with wise words and magic. And with that of your esteemed female friends? Indeed you may. But don't forget, Merigold, I rule this bordello. Don't turn into Philippa. You're too pretty for that. King, sorceress, and witcher united against evil. Worthy of a painting. But all will be lost if we delay any longer. Sire, one other matter. Witcher? How is Ada feeling? My the Order shows its true face. The Grand Master must feel confident. He's bet it all, releasing mutated knights against the people. Even the pious Siegfried was duped. De Aldersburg knows that history is written by the victors. If he wins, he'll blame the non-humans or the king. We have to stop him. We'll have to get dirty. The only way to the monastery leads through the sewers. The Order doesn't guard it? Not since Azugal made its nest there. A big one. It's had a lot of fresh meat. I hope it hasn't had time to procreate. I doubt it found a mate. Zoogles don't need mates. They're hermaphrodites. It's somewhere in the sewers. Any advice? Don't get eaten. I'm serious. Stay out of range of its tentacles. Zoogles harbor all kinds of contagion. If you have any spells against infection... I should have. Let's go. Eternal fire! Who speaks truth? Blessed are the humble. Typical. A mob led by a madman. Again, someone will have to decide for them. This time, it'll be us. I'd rather they made their own decisions. Are you sure that's what they want? We need to give them the chance. Let's go. Almost there. We'll find Jacques de Aldersburg in the monastery. Damn, I'm out of potions. Could I ask you to... Geralt, what would you do without me? Wait here. I'll be back in a blink. The unexpected awaits you here. How did you get here? You're stronger than the Grand Master thought. You summoned me. How? The Grand Master invited you into a vision of the future enclosed in his mind, yet you brought your own visions and specters. So this isn't real? It's more than a dream. Should you die here, your death will be very real. I shall accompany you, assist you. But only a blizzard follows us, with nothing beyond it but death. Look, Alvin. It's just an illusion, Triss. Here we must part. Why? At the heart of the vision, he controls all. You must go on alone. See you, Triss. I'll be back. Good luck, Geralt. <laughs>
Witcher, uh. are you up? <sighs> His Majesty, King of Tiberia, Pontar, Mahakam, and Sodden, Senior Protector of Bruges, summons Master Geralt to appear before him. Tell him I'll be there shortly. Sorry to intrude like this, milady, but the King. We heard you. A pleasant day to you, milady. Witcher. Stupid war. Could have been such a beautiful morning. A war can never be stupid when waged by your king. They've cleared the forests, they're pillaging nearby villages, and they'll soon be murdering each other en masse. Why? Because Foltest's having a spat with the mother of his bastard twins. This is a really stupid war, Triss. Bastards or not, the children are still royal blood. The Lavalettes are an old Temerian dynasty, and the mix is sufficient basis to vie for the crown. History has known stranger contenders. Which doesn't change the fact that... I know. Altest and the other northern monarchs are neither the smartest nor the most refined, but they're kings, one of whom we serve. And I'll see Foltest is summoned, protect him if need be, but once the castle falls, we leave. Did you dream of the wild hunt again? Lucky assassin? How did the autopsy go? It was a nightmare. In the months since you killed him, the King's medics poked around in his corpse like a bunch of amateurs. What arrived in that cart? Well, I wouldn't even call it a corpse. Foltest has some trust issues. Did you learn anything? His pupil suggested he could probably see in the dark as well as you. I couldn't put an age on him. The killer snuck past all the guards and nearly killed Foltest and me a month ago. And now you tell me he was a witcher? Possibly. I'm just saying what the autopsy showed. I haven't told anyone, nor do I plan to. I know what it could do to you if it got out. You might be a savior, a king's witcher now, but masters can be as fickle as the cults they ride. One of the scouts swears he saw a dragon down by the river. Claims he ran into a Scoyatel unit. That would have been it if the dragon hadn't swooped down. The elves apparently bowed in prayer and he escaped. A dragon? In the midst of civilization? Oh, please. Besides, does it matter? Witchers don't hunt dragons. Or has something changed? Nothing's changed. And you're right. It's probably not a dragon. Although it could be a fork tail or a slizzard. Maybe even an overgrown wyvern. The scout ran into some elves and scurried away. That's how that story begins and ends. I get the feeling that dream's important. Running frantically through the forest. The Wild Hunt. They're the last things I remember. I wake up and try to relive the dream and the memory, hoping I'll find some guidance. Some clue to grab onto. Something that'll help me recover my memory. Dreams can be very powerful. Some people claim they can even shape reality. People claim a lot of things. The problem is, it's often nonsense. We'll know in time. I'm sure of it. All right. Time to look to the lustful king and his stupid war. I'll join you later. Arian Lavalette has surrendered the castle. Open up! And the Baron lives? Yes, he lives. I'm not spiteful. Open this gate, kneel before your king, and I shall show you mercy. Looks like we're stuck. Indeed, and my magic's no good here. The main force down in those boats is going to beat us to town. Want to head back to the tent? The camp will be nice and empty now. I've had enough for today. Tempting. Look, the King's special forces. We want to see him! You doubt my words, dog! Open the gate now! Sire, 
Vernon Roach. Tell me, Roach. There's fighting in the town. A section of our forces crossed the river in fishing boats and swarmed the streets, burning, raping, pillaging. The Lavalettes are making a stand near the temple. What of the Baroness? Alive and safely tucked away. Unsoiled, I hope. As you ordered, sire. She's fine. And beautiful as ever. The children were not with her. But you know where they are? In the monastery. But we've yet to penetrate that area. Cross, quickly. Protect the king! Back up! I'll open the gates! Quickly! Quick! I can't hold this for long. Call me off! Driss! Bloody hell, you didn't have to torch the castle. You were to sneak out, avoid anything resembling a bloodbath. You left me the key to my manacles, not an invisibility cloak. Triss, is everything all right? Not exactly. I'm no longer the royal advisor. I've lost my post, my home in Vizima. Witcher's mistress, they call me. Kingslayer's whore. People say what they think they have to. I know, but... They'll change their minds as soon as we find the Kingslayer. Roach will see to that. Right, spy? I'm no spy, but you're mostly correct. An interregnum is chaos by definition. Rats like Baron Kimbolt and Count Marava rule Temeria now, or strive to. But no one save old Natalis can restore true order. Natalis is far away and of low birth. The crown's simply out of his reach. Baron Kimbolt, on the other hand. Politics is secondary right now. Vernon, learn anything new about the Kingslayer? A week ago I got a message from an informer in Flotsam. He saw Yorveth in the company of a large, bald man, not unlike the one you described. A week ago? Sounds like a cold trail to me. We need to start somewhere. The trading post is a few days upriver, in the forests that lie on the Adernian border. Yorveth's territory. Flotsam it is then. Triss. Yes? I'm a bit beat up. Will you look at my wounds? Mm-hmm. Let's go below deck. And I need you to tell me about Yennefer in detail. I want to hear it all, even the things you don't want to tell me, even the things that might hurt. But hey, life doesn't always dole out what we expect, right? Sometimes it even forces us to associate with unsavory characters like Vernon Roach. No, I'm not making any excuses, and yes, I had my reasons. The Witcher spent most of the way to Flotsam talking to someone. Long into the evening, as water lapped against the boat's side, Triss told him forgotten stories of his unexpected child and his toxic relationship with a sorceress named Jennifer. Stories of a life stolen from him. Flotsam should be just beyond the point. We'll take the beach. Who's we? You and me. Reconnaissance. I'm coming too. You should stay behind. We can't be sure of the reception we'll get. Precisely why I won't let you go alone. Someone's got to look after you. We need him alive. No one use for spells. Get his attention. We need to focus. I'll try. Climb down and we'll finish this. I await. Ha! <laughs> You're a man without honor, Vernon Roach. An insect I'll not duel, but one that I will crush. Seems like you spout the same old elven drivel. What do you mean, Witcher? I've seen your kind before. Proud and shay, sneaking around forests. Helpless, yet masking that with acts of increasing cruelty. I helped kill Roach's king. You call that helpless? Or would you call me a terrorist? No one will grant us our freedom, Witcher. We must win it for ourselves. You're just another old elf in a young elf's skin, using clever words to mask an obvious truth. Obvious, you say? This is not about race or freedom, or even vengeance. You're here because someone powerful told you to be. Someone who's using you. They may wear a crown, carry a magic wand, or even lead a guild. But be sure of this. It's not about your freedom, your rights, or your ears. 
Nilfgaard plowed you once. Now someone new does. Am I wrong? Those times are gone. No one will ever use the square tal again. Who are you addressing? Me? Yourself? Or the archers in those shrubs? Triss, now! You should have charmed the archers. They're coming. Too many spells at once. You can die from that. See that? Yeah. The Kingslayer and Yorvith. You all in one piece? Who are you? I'm a witcher. Emirvar Emrys. Spice merchant. A trader? In spices. Uh-huh. And the woman? My good man, we barely escaped death. Be so kind as to tell us where we might get some rest. We'll explain everything later. Very well. Head for the market square. You might be in time for the execution. Some ne'er-do-wells are going to hang. A dwarf and some bard. There's also an inn and a brothel. Oh yeah, the brothel sounds especially interesting. Take care now. How's it living with Roach's soldiers? Splendid. I know every shit joke that anyone's ever thought up. Plus, I've learned how to burp out the official title of the Emperor of Nilfgaard without reaching for beer. Shorty's told me about his 16 children, all named after Temerian troop divisions. And I know his nickname has nothing to do with his manhood. Nice to know that you care, though. Glad to see you in a good mood. I think I actually like them. They're good people. One of them even proposed to me. Who's the brave man? <laughs> Sorry, that's a secret. And here I thought Roach's boys had an ounce of respect for me. The massacre in Rivia, it came back to me, I remember. The angry mob murdering non-humans, a young boy with a pitchfork. Anything else? Death, or a state close to it, I'm not sure. I felt life draining out of me. Uh, I was there. I arrived a moment later. Too late. Don't worry, Triss. They're only memories. We have bigger problems to tackle now. Something tells me that in recovering my memory, I'll find out a lot about what we're dealing with now. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir's a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kran was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold. Sharp as ever. You're thinking that... Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood. All those disgusting marvels we take from dying species. To throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt. You saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Kran emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there. On the upper floor. You know the inn's also a horror house. Thanks for the warning. Where might you be going? Uh, what kind of question is that? Anyway, know where I can find an elf named Cedric? Don't get involved in this. 
Hmm. You did turn pale when we met Sheila. You must have imagined that. I know you too well. Sheila's one of the most powerful sorceresses. That's no reason to fear her. She can't be trusted, in my experience. I know her to be devious and manipulative. Any proof? She's well aware you lost your memory, yet pretended she didn't know. And why would she do that? I don't know. Her true intentions have always been hard to fathom. I'll see if I can't learn what they are. How? I'll go hunting with her, right after I find Cedric. Well then let's go see him. He should be at the top of his observation tower. You'll find me by the boat wreck. Jeez, Triss. Sure you're not overusing those teleports? I wonder what's left of that wreck Cedric mentioned. If the Cairn attacked the boat, it's not likely to be much. We're looking for traces of the beast, not boats. This monster's sick, Geralt. It's dying. How much time does it have left? A few years? Perhaps a decade and change? Too long. What's wrong with it? Any information could be useful. The diagnostic spell showed that some of the cells in its body have mutated. What makes you think it's dying? I mean, I'm a mutant. The mucus cells I diagnosed are very similar to cancer cells. In some ways, they're more effective than healthy cells, but they're out of control. They converge to create a red tissue. Very unpleasant. The poor thing. But you brought up an interesting point. Want to know the core difference between mutants and non-mutants? Of course I do. The changes made through alchemy and magic in your body would require thousands of years to develop on their own. This development would result from genetic errors that would cause your body to adapt, become a more efficient organism, effectively mutate, but over a very long time. When this development occurs over millennia, across multiple generations, we proudly call it natural selection, evolution. When it occurs quickly, in a single organism, or a few representatives of a species, we frown on it as mutation. And here I thought you liked me. What else? The Cairn's highly venomous. Any ideas for an antidote? Your witcher's metabolism should neutralize small doses of the toxin. But if I were you, I wouldn't rely on my mutations alone. An Ostmark potion should do the trick. I know the herb, but haven't the faintest where I might find it around here. I need to think, figure out how I want to fight the Cairn. Maybe I won't need the potion. Do what you will, but don't say I didn't warn you. Sheila might be eager to get this done, but before you go see her, ask some of the locals about Osmark. You could try Cedric. Here's the formula for the potion. I need to take care of some things. Manage without me for a while? Mm -hmm. See you. I well, well. How's the Commandant as a host? It's people like him who might help us. Or put us in shackles and throw us into the river. He told me they're keeping Scoia'tael prisoners on a barge in the port. Did he mention if Kieran Ebesnalen, Yorvet's right-hand elf, is among them? No. He may know something about the Kingslayer. Let's pay him a visit. Geralt, are you all right? I've been to the Isle of Avalach, among the apple trees and the mists. After the massacre in Rivia, Suri took me there, and Yennefer. The Wraith Riders kidnapped Yen, and I pursued them. But... Triss, this is important. I feel like everything's coming together. When the Witchers found me barely alive a half year ago near Kaer Morhen, I was fleeing the Wraiths of the Hunt. They continued to pursue me, in the outskirts, then in Vizima when I killed the Grand Master. Now I know it was no coincidence. Kieran mentioned roses of remembrance, growing somewhere near here. Cedric claims likewise. If that's true... Right now I should be searching the forest for Yorveth, not looking for flowers. I could restore your memory. You sure? Everything seems to indicate that. Whatever's blocking your memory is clearly weakening. I think I could break that barrier with just one petal from a rose of remembrance. Those flowers are truly powerful. In that case, Yorveth can wait. Want me to go with you? I'd love your company. All right then. Let's go. Cedric mentioned there are some old elven buildings near the Cascade in the forest. We should start there.
<sighs> I think we've arrived. The Cascade, the Menhir. We need to take the path leading upwards. Gardens in the middle of forests. Those elves really like to complicate things. Stop whining. It's not far now. Oh my. Lovers. Look at it. It's beautiful. Mm. I just don't understand it. How did the elves become so cruel? The one with the scar had so much hatred in him. Places like this make you realize just how much they've lost. There used to be entire elven cities, and the forests were theirs to enjoy, not to hide in. Humans destroyed that, put them in reservations. Yorvith and his kind are taking revenge, though not all elves are like that. Kieran said there's a lot more at stake. He has his ideal, a certain vision of the world, but do you think there's room for humans in it? We're practically one and the same. Wrong, Triss. We've been learning from each other for generations, but we're different at base. I don't know why I find that awfully sad. Just like this garden. Beautiful and sad. Triss. Slimeril's Rose of Remembrance. Legend has it they wilt unless nourished with blood, and also if they're sold. But give it to someone you love, and it'll live forever. This one's for you. Oh, Geralt. I want you to keep it. If there's any truth to the legend, it shouldn't wilt. Even if you pluck a petal or two. Thank you. This is the statue, Curly. Don't mind us. Imagine the corn we'll get. I won't leave the brothel for a month. Six weeks, even. Where does that woman get the gold for all this? I mean, her and the old man, they're buying a new house. And now these statues for the garden. Must be defrauding the treasury. What's a town chancellor do anyway? It'd be plowing hard to move. We'd never shift it in one piece. I know. We'll break off the legs, the heads, remove it in bits. Break off your own head, clown. Shut your trap, cunt. Watch out! Oh. Ah. Ah. the end shape built before human ships ever appeared in the Pontar Delta. Elves possess a sensitivity humans can't ever hope to acquire. We're trapped. Looks like we're stuck. Mm -hmm. well, there must be another way out of here. Mm -hmm. Why are you looking at me that way? Do I have something on my face? Uh -uh. What's going on in that head of yours, Witcher? Oh, you know. Stuff. You could use a bath. So could you.
a witcher's blade. Letho comes here to think. Well, he's not here now, so we've no reason to stay. The Dwan stole the story of Elden and Cymeru, but they now steal our roses of remembrance. A more silly and shallow tale I've never heard. An enchanted wood, a beautiful elven couple living within. A handsome human prince arrives, riding a milk-white stallion. Uh, Bloody Dwan. We Enshay remember how it was. Uh, Limitless devotion, passion, commitment, uh, and sacrifice. Legend has it the lovers' sighs are enchanted with these very stones, though only those in love can hear them. <coughs> Singing bushes, jabbering stones, elven hogwash. to take walks more often. For a while there I forgot all about Flotsam, the Scoia'tael, the Kingslayer, the whole world, really. Nice to know I still have that power. I need time to devise the spell. It could take as much as a few days. Mm -hmm. What do you plan to do while you wait? I'm going to meet Yorvith. Well, don't get yourself killed. That'd be pretty stupid now. What are you getting at? You're about to recover your memory, which will give you a whole new perspective on things. We'll learn what happened to Yennefer. Uh-huh. And you expect me to drop everything and tell Roach, hey, it's been great, but I've got places to go and people to find? You know, you could. I, I mean, you don't really owe him anything. I'm just afraid you'll get caught up in something and you won't be able to back out. Yorvess a sly old elf. He's been fighting humans for a full century at least. This Letho is no common bandit either, and I shudder to think who put him on the warpath. It's a mire, Geralt. Deep and hungry, and it could swallow you whole before you know it. It possibly already has. I want you to know that I'm prepared to travel to the end of the world with you to save Yennefer. I owe you that. I owe her that. I'm prepared to drop everything. The trappings of court life, politics, the regicides. I could even live at Kaer Morhen. It's up to you. Triss. Let me finish. I can only say this once. If you want to go alone, I'll understand. And I won't try to persuade you otherwise. I can't know what the future holds. I don't know what else is hidden in my mind. But whatever it is, whatever happens, I don't want to lose you. I'd have to be an utter fool and complete ingrate to let you go. That's... kind. Thank you. Does that mean we're leaving the regicides to Roach, intending to our own matters? I think so. And I think you're right. I don't owe anyone anything. I'm glad you've noticed that. But that doesn't mean I'm willing to sit around doing nothing. You need time anyway, and in that time I'll catch the Kingslayer. Geralt, please, be careful. I'll go see Zoltan, and together we'll go find Yorvith. With a little luck, I'll capture the Kingslayer, and then we can go back to living our own lives. Good. Will you talk to Roach? I'll think about it. Come back later. <laughs> Greetings, Phil. Why are you. She. I heard you left Redania. I intend to stop Edurn from falling apart. There's a popular uprising here, a real fight for freedom. You'd like it. I doubt it. It had started before Demoven's death. The rebels are led by a girl, both beautiful and smart. She's achieved the impossible. Humans and non-humans, nobles, burghers and peasants, marching side by side towards a new beginning. They gave the royalists a heavy thrashing. Now they're the only armed force in Edurn. What happened to Demoven's son, Prince Stennis? He's joined the rebellion and makes a virtue of necessity. He pretends to like the idea of equality and justice. What's your intention? 
to stop Henselt of Kedwin conquering Upper Edurn. Our bellicose king would become too powerful. What did Sheila want from you? Isn't it obvious? Two northern rulers have perished. We've been thinking on these developments. Tamaria is in chaos and I lost my position. There goes the effort we put into building peace. What's your intention? What has the Lodge decided? I mean, it was created to protect the interests of magic. We'll adjust to the new order and make use of this situation. Five years of my work wasted? The peace of Sintra hangs by a thread and Tamaria will plunge into civil war any day now. There's nothing to use. We need to find those responsible and dispense justice. Calm down. Two things should be partaken cold. Sorrel soup and politics. Calculate, and don't let your emotions lead you. We can't resurrect Foltest, so stop playing the Avenger. We'll proceed wisely and deliberately. We'll use the situation, understand? At least help me clear the Witcher's name. Triss, stop thinking with your vagina and get a hold of yourself. The Witcher will manage. I feel fine. I'm sorry, I can't give you more of my time. The long road to Loch Muin awaits me. The Council and the Conclave are waiting, and Triss Merigold, as always, arrives in the nick of time. What are you talking about? The figurine. He must have it on him. What's the meaning of this? I want to introduce someone to you. This is Vanamar, my personal sorcerer. He sensed Triss approaching our camp, though she was to arrive in different company. Before you die, Witcher, would you be so kind as to explain how you got your hands on this figurine? Triss, what have you done to her? She'll be all right, Geralt. She can't hear, see, or feel, but she is alive. Triss will help us find those wenches that betrayed the Empire. I don't know whether you killed Tavig or found him dead, it's irrelevant now. I'd prefer not to sentence to death a man previously pardoned by the Emperor himself. Unfortunately, I have no choice. Vanamar, once you're done with him, convey my congratulations to Cynthia. Leading Philippa Eilhart up the garden path is no small feat. Farewell, Witcher. Oh. Didn't expect to see me. Are you kidding? The only person you expect to see in a Nilfgaardian dungeon is the Executioner. Did they torture you? They tried various... things. But they got nothing from me. I traveled half the world to find you. I know it was hard on you. I'll never forget this, you hear? Never. I'd slaughter half the Nilfgaardian army for a friend. I know you're a member of the Lodge, Triss. How do you know of the Lodge? Does it matter? I also know the Lodge was behind Demavan's assassination. Geralt, I... I trust you. True. I'm a member of the Lodge. Just like eight other sorceresses. But if you think I'm responsible for the Lodge's actions, you're badly mistaken. The Lodge is a theater for two actresses. Sheila and Philippa have long dominated it. To the point where you didn't know about the murder they planned? To the point where I was no longer invited to gatherings. Why? They stopped trusting me. Because you didn't agree with them? Nine women very rarely agree on anything. The actual problem was that... Tell me. I was close to you. If Sheila fears anyone, it's Geralt of Rivia. The Lodge did everything to convince me that our relationship didn't bother them, even that it suited them. But they manipulated me. Through me, they fed you select information. Depending on the circumstances, they twisted facts. We're still close. They could still be doing it. Don't insult me. 
Calm down, Triss. Reynold Ep Matson claimed otherwise, but I'll always take your word over that of some Nilfgaardian lowlifes. Now, they'll tell me everything you know. I need to learn the truth. All existing councils of mages disintegrated after the Thanad massacre. We all acted separately. Philippa decided to create a new organization, a secret one this time. When I was sworn in, it never crossed my mind that the Lodge's plans would soon become secret to its members. As you know, Philippa's not one for minor undertakings. She presented a plan for creating a powerful state controlled by sorceresses. The best laid schemes of mages and men. Philippa and Sheila never lacked ideas or enthusiasm. To control a powerful state, they needed to create one first. Or find a wealthy land with a suitable political arrangement and an easily manipulated ruler. Sheila chose the Pontar Valley, Demavend, and Stennis. I'd choose the same if I were her. Demavend didn't have a network of spies anywhere near as good as Hensholtz or Radovitz. Nor could he count on the loyalty of such men as our dear Vernon Roach. At one of our meetings, I just asked how they imagined overthrowing Demavend. That was the last time I was invited. After Demavend's death, I became suspicious but had no evidence. Philippa brushed me off. When you went off to meet Yorveth and Sheila was busy with the Karen's carcass, I managed to scan parts of her megascope. That's when I learned that Sheila had dealings with Letho. If only I'd learned that, everything could have been different. Letho must have shadowed me when I entered Sheila's room. Then he forced me to teleport us to somewhere near Vergen. Did you talk to him? He wasn't aggressive. In Vergen, he told me that Sheila commissioned them to assassinate Demavend. Them being the witchers of the School of the Viper. Sheila helped them prepare the assassination. I wonder why he told you about it. Is that important? Conspirators who suddenly divulge everything. I'd be suspicious. There was some interference as we teleported to Edern. I emerged intact, but pretty battered. I met the troll who fell in love with you. He saved me, tended to my wounds. But when he started treating me like a caged canary, I fled. I knew Philippa was in the area. I decided to go see her and lay my cards on the table. Maybe Letho wanted just that. I met a woman at Philippa's house. Thought she was just a servant or Philippa's lover. Before I could speak, I was overpowered by spells. I hardly expected an attack. The pain I felt as my body was compressed. It's indescribable. As if all my bones were being broken. It's even worse when you return to your true form. In any case, Philippa had no idea her lover was a Nilfgaardian spy. I was carried as that figurine all the way to Loch Queen. Asira decompressed me back just before they murdered her. Shillard interrogated me, but learned nothing. If it wasn't for you, they'd have had me quartered. I didn't piece the puzzle together until I was here, in the dungeon. Now you know everything. Did Saskia know the Lodge's plans? She didn't even know the Lodge existed. Philippa told her that the sorceresses would support an independent state in the Pontar Valley, no strings attached. A fairy tale, but Saskia bought it. Saskia backed Philippa, and the people backed Saskia. Philippa controlled Saskia with her spells. Figures. The woman's a control freak. She miscalculated by coming to Loch Muin. Radovid had her imprisoned and then blinded. That's impossible. I was there. Who had Foltest assassinated? I have no idea. Perhaps after Demavend's successful assassination, Sheila and Philippa decided to take the next step. That would be stupid. Killing Demavend was a way to take control of the Pontar Valley. People would forget the regicide in a year, and the Lodge could put its plan in motion. They had to know that if Foltest died, men like Roach wouldn't rest until they learned why that had happened. One thing is certain. Letho killed Foltest, and Sheila was working with Letho. Ever find out what Sheila was actually doing in Flotsam? I find it hard to believe she went there just to kill a monster and earn a few horns. You're right, of course. It had something to do with Letho and the Scoyatel. What did she want from Yorvith? The Scoyatel were Saskia's trump card. I expect Sheila needed to know what the elves would do given that a war with Hensel was practically inevitable. That'll have to do for now. We'll learn more at the talks. You're going to attend? 
You have no memory of how the world worked before the Thanid Massacre. Actually, I know exactly how it worked. That means... We'll talk about my memory later. All right. If the Council and Conclave still existed, kings wouldn't be assassinated and massacres would be less frequent. This is our chance to restore these institutions and we shouldn't miss it. Normalizing relations between the rulers and the mages who advise them is our only chance for peace. And our only chance to dismantle the Lodge. The Lodge will disintegrate anyway. Once the kings learn it was behind the assassinations, they'll start a witch hunt. We can prevent that from happening. I'm all for punishing the guilty, but can't abide collective responsibility. I'm ready to go and reveal everything I know about Philippa Eilhart, Sheila de Tanserville, and their schemes. Let's go then. We shouldn't arrive at the same time. Let's split up. Triss. Yes? That was some mess. I wouldn't want to see you hurt like that again. Don't worry, I'll manage. See you at the talks. All right. Good that you're here. We don't have much time. Seems like we never do. First we have to get by the guards. Leave that to me. Be careful. I'm always careful. Are you all right? More or less. And the dragon? Dragoness. Saskia's alive. Wounded and weak from loss of blood, but alive. The spell is still working. Unimportant. As long as Saskia lives, there's hope that we can break it. Besides, I don't kill dragons. Philippa won't easily give up such a powerful weapon. Triss, please understand. The last thing I want to do is slaughter one of the most beautiful creatures I've ever seen. Saskia is good incarnate. She's the exact antithesis of Eilhart and your former friends. They should be punished. You're right. I just wanted... I know what you wanted, and you're probably right in some way. But this time, logic and calculation are unimportant. If we have even the slimmest chance of breaking the spell and freeing Saskia, we need to try. Let's get out of here. I guess Letho got away. He's waiting for you. Waiting? Hmm. Where the Temerians made camp. Come on. This should be interesting. There he is. Wait for me. Geralt. I don't want you to get hurt. I can take care of myself. Not this time. I need to talk to him alone. Wait for me at the city gate. If I'm not there within the hour, leave without me. we made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you'll sit in ducks for the temple guard. 
Who do I spy? Geralt? Atreus. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you managed to find me, Witcher. Your spies tell you I was looking for the Putrid Grove? My skull would be a home for bottom-feeding river fish if I didn't keep an ear to the ground. And please, Putrid Grove? Ugly name for our cosy little hideout, wouldn't you say? Temple Guard tolerate your little operation. Let's say they appreciate the value of a Novigrad crown. Hmm. Manga doesn't seem like the type that can be bought. Anyone can be bought, but like is true, Menger had cost me a fortune. Luckily, he's got officers, and they're mere mortals. Illnesses catch him at times. Other times, they want to catch a bit of diversion. See, Witcher? I've got plans, big plans, far-reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the city council? City Council is a puppet troop with a hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we got a riddit of superstition farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But well, one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove. But it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone. Because I can see. Well, you clearly need it. Harold, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone very dear to her and had to start anew. Hasn't turned out like I imagined. Madam Sorceress. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. I take it you're a Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman, who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? Hello, Klug. Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes, somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse a I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to. When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this. 
but they believe me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then dive for my goods into that ice-cold filth? I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Near the crane. Second bridge in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heels. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Turned out he was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn near went mad. We were lucky this time, but you'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Klug. Send us here if there wasn't. There must be a lever on this wall that looks. Free city of Novigrad. The name actually used to mean something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Muin. Thought they'd be safe from Radovid's reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. But Novigrad stands on top of a mountain of coin. And winning a war takes three things. Coin. Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom. Unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Manga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? Uh, maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. Find the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my package. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. Seem to be in your element. Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come on. Six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Is that a problem? By the eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together, I expect you resolve things twice as fast. You've the look of true experts. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon and Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in or Novigrad. Don't much like merchants who flatter with cheap praise before the job's done. That was not cheap praise. I was merely stating a fact. So am I. I want you to pay in full in advance. I'm afraid that's impossible. Then trap your own rats. Well, now I know why she brought you along. Fine. A full purse of Novigrad crowns as proof of my goodwill. We need to place these crystals around the greenery, near anything that looks rat-related. Now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? Knew a man once who reacted to everything, especially adversity, by mocking it. Healthy attitude. Must have lived long. Came a day he lost both his legs in battle. He shrugged, said it was better that way. He'd never feel pain in them again. I understand him perfectly. I know. Thing is, he was lying to himself. 
I think he just didn't have much of a choice. We all lie sometimes, but lying to yourself is running away, whereas there's really nowhere to run. Sometimes you have to escape just to forget. Your friend might have dwelled on his lost legs, but it's not like by grieving he could have grown another pair. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? Don't know yet. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. Well, well. Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. If these boys are here to help us kill rats, they're late. You paid up front and got what you paid for. Not half a rodent left in the granary. I paid in advance because I knew I'd recover my coin. Such is life for sorceresses in Novigrad these days. I can see that and I don't like it. So here's what I think. The hunters have come, and now they can go. They'll do no such thing. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. Don't kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. Fine. Your coin. Now, get. Thanks, Geralt. No need. Glad I could help. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Siri, And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareen Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. kareen has been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal, away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat-infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now, before Corrine goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'd be nice. All right. See you later. I'm Triss. Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb, I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelairoise, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stopped by to see if everything was alright. Thanks. You 
can breathe easy now. In the future, they'll remember this. I can look after myself. Fine. You look after yourself, and I'll look after my interests. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So I beg you, can we get to the point? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menger. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. Know you well enough to know what matters. Results. So I lied. Still say I can lead you to your treasure. Forgive me, Geralt, but after what you just pulled, I'd sooner believe a whore who proclaimed her undying love. Would you believe a sorceress who stands to gain if you get your coin back? Perhaps. I'd still prefer the whore, though. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menger has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menger spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit, ask where he's holding my gold for me. Mm -hmm. So we do your dirty work while you sit around twiddling your thumbs. Darling, when I'm able to make use of someone, I always do. It's convenient. And safe. Come on, admit you're scared of Menger. Of course I'm scared, bloody dangerous horse son. Triss would concur, I think. Not in those words. But I do agree with the statement overall. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive with my treasure. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never! Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we... You know. Could have corrected him yourself. True. But it's not an easy thing to say, is it? But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere. And Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right, see you then, and thanks. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damned fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Uh, Triss, sure you want to do this? Out here, with everyone watching? 
This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will? And in chains? Yes. No. Can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision, and I won't change it. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. What about the treasure? If we learn anything, great. If not... Thought you need coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Mmm, all right. What do you want? Here for my reward. On the Alpha? For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat. But the witches, they murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Hands off. What did you say? Ah, sensed it. Knew we couldn't trust him. Witcher, witch. One and the same. So they can burn at one and the same stake? I think that's all of them. That was close. I must say, trickery and deceit, not your strong suits. True. I prefer straightforward solutions. Yeah. Fight first. Ask questions later. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body. You search the room. I'd start with the desk. Find anything? Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait. Something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here, give it to Dijkstra with my regards. I 
I found a letter to Menga from someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? Take a look. Drop boxes, secret signals. Yeah, strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Betty does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. Everything? Slight exaggeration there. I'm not so sure. Key to a vault? No address? Why do I doubt this'll make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning glass is half full? Of something strong, I hope. Alright. Nothing left for us here. Let's go. Be glad to. Just not by way of the main gate. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment? I'd appreciate it. All right. We need to get out of here. Triss? How'd you know to... Ah, Dijkstra, huh? None other. I couldn't resist. Really want to see this through to the end. Perfect place for a tryst. With Triss. Mm-hmm. Ceilings collapsed, mold on the walls, mouse droppings in the corner. Lips almost pucker on their own. Shh. He's coming, Hyde. Manga! Indisposed. Very indisposed. I don't know who you are, but you're in deep. Shit right up to your nostrils. You're in deeper, I assure you. But answer our questions and we'll help you get out. The answer to each question will be the same. Sod off. That's no way to talk to a lady. To a lady, I never. But to a witch. You can. Wouldn't recommend it, though. Had enough? Fuck off. I can take this. Of course you can. But I'm just getting started. You must be thinking, this can't possibly hurt any worse. Oh, it can. Enough! Enough! So, gonna talk? Uh, yes! Yes! You just tell me what the fuck about! Pure curiosity. Who do you work for? Oh, say! No way! Sure about that? <laughs> Radovid! I work for Radovid! Where'd Manga hide Siki Ruben's treasure? I'm the clue. You realize one word and you'll howl the pain again. Yeah, and yet I still say I don't know a thing. Does that make you think? I think he's telling the truth. Ugh, looks like it. Radovid, what did he hope to gain by helping Manga? He seeks to clear the field before he arrives. Makes sense. Easier to take a city whose mages are gone. Bastard. He'll pay for this. We're looking for Dandelion. We know Manga captured him. What? That's what this is all about. A fucking minstrel. You might have set up at the start. Before your body started mucking my mind with magic. I can't believe it. For a miserable sap like that. Get to the point. The dandelion is on Temple Isle. 
in the dungeon beneath the shrine. Menger's planning to execute him in auction first. <laughs> Positively spectacular. Afraid you'll have to call off the show. How can we free Dandelion? Those who leave Temple Isle do so only on Menger's orders. Issued in person. Damn it. We'll find a way. I have an idea. Tell you later. Enough. We've learned everything we wanted to. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Can I assume we can put this unfortunate incident behind us? And... Not so fast. Geralt. I know. You've seen too much. <laughs> Goodbye. I told you. I'll never... Either he dies, or I wipe his mind. As good as lit the buyers with Menga in the square. He deserves to die. But, but I helped you. I helped you. How do you feel? Base. Cruel. Vile. I could go on. But I need to get out of here. Now. Go home. Bathe. Then drink myself to oblivion. Walk you home? Not today, Geralt. Not today. But there is one other thing I wanted to talk about. So, mind coming by later? Menga's dead, true, but that hardly marks the end of my troubles. Said you had an idea about freeing Dandelion. Yes. We know he's on the island. And he'll stay there until Menga orders him transferred to Oxenford, right? Mm-hmm. Problem is, Menga's dead. So... No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire. He could reappear. Him or someone very, very similar. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Biberveld impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Yes? Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. It is a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. Geralt, I've got a problem. Yes, Geralt? Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places. Where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. See you kept the Rose of Remembrance I gave you in Flotsam. Seems so long ago. Probably because so much has changed. So, sentimental value. That why you kept it? Partly. Though, more as a warning. Feel alright? Hmm, so-so. Why do you ask? Hmm. Maybe we should talk about something else. Gladly. I was about to ask the same. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbud's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbud's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. Who's this Ingrid Vagelbud? The Vagelbuds are one of the city's most influential families. Somewhat atypical, the women have been in charge for generations. Patricia Vagelbud's the current mater familias. Ingrid's her daughter. 
Know her personally? No, seen her, that's all. And I've heard rumors. She's admired in Novigrad for her business acumen, and adored for the lavish balls she throws at the family estate outside town. Though the balls probably serve her business interests in some way. What are you afraid of, exactly? That it's a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. On the other... Nobody expects you to risk your life. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know what it's like to be tortured, what it's like to hear the screams of others and be unable to do anything... You could have escaped at any time. I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridian? You won't always be there to help. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Whose idea you think this was? The servants or Vagelbuds? My bet's on Ingrid. Highborn damsels have a lot more time than their servants to read adventure novels. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic? He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters, then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. What did they want from you? I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe. Oh, well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Murris. Works for the Witch Hunters. Aye, you're surely right, miss. I... it just weren't what I expected, since Lady Vagel, bud. Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Vagelbud's valet. I... I meant you no offence, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of late. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son. He's the... problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten wind. Wouldn't worry about the guard. But since the Mage Hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vagelbud bought off the Guardsmen. Since the Hunters paid for every Mage revealed to him. Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, then whispered a word to the Hunters anyway. How did Ingrid Vagelbud know to contact Triss? That Triss was the right person? We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra Base disappear once the Witch Hunters were onto her. Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's um, afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbud can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Want to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagelbud fears the help's being watched. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts. And the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candied petals or blue roses from the Zaire. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire, knows naught about Albert's interests in alchemy. Luckily, the elder Lady Vagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residence. Truly an atypical family. I'm not one to judge, sir. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? 
Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. The guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, all right? Good luck to you. Think we can head there now? You're kidding, right? We have to prepare. Change clothes. Most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Eliel's shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. certainly took my request to heart. Mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare. You look great. You get everything? Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey. And that's exactly why we should help him. Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. Uh, damn, double is chafing my armpits. And it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. Well then, shall we go? Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbutt's guests. Your invitation, please. All's in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbutt in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Now, one more thing. I leave your swords here, please. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. After all, he's not the only man in the world. But he's a baronet. Where will I find another baronet? Hello, Vivian. No use pretending you don't know me. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that, Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common... Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? You asked for it. We weren't supposed to draw any attention. What? Nothing happened. Mercy! I've had enough! Moritz, what are you doing here? Little Miss Marigold. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead. Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Didn't like that guy. Why'd you insist on talking to him? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. I'll tell you the story later. Uh, Gregor, have you seen Durgoff just a moment ago? Oh. Apologies, I mistook you for my friend, sir. He wears a similar mask. General Voris. Geralt of Rivia, so oh, I was not entirely mistaken. Pleasure, as always. This is... A beautiful and mysterious lady. 
Let us leave the formalities to the event's end, when all will remove their masks. More fun that way, wouldn't you agree? I would, sir. And now I must beg your pardon. I really must find Durgoth, and quickly. A lovely evening to you both. Yes. Is that you? Geralt of Rivia? And Triss? I did not see you on the guest list. Baroness, we're here as friends of the family. As am I. Yet my name was there, at the very top of the list. Not at all surprising, my lady. These courtesies grow tiresome quickly. Why are you here? I think you should ask Lady Vagelbud. I shall. Believe you me. A second chance. <laughs> Good one. Cemeteries are full of men who thought old Joel would give them a second chance. Siggy, I'll be. Geralt! Damn it all. How do you recognize me? The mask. Dead giveaway. <laughs> Perfect, right? Could take it off and no one would know the difference. <laughs> hey, Reuben. Look at that. My favorite accomplice. What's this? Taking a day off from saving the world? Well, we've jested and laughed, but I have a sense you're in a hurry. Really? You know, Geralt, somehow I dislike running into you at parties. My bones start to ache, as if bad weather were approaching. Excuse me a moment. Miss? Yes, it's me. The trout buyer? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Please excuse the precautions, but perhaps we could speak somewhere in private. Thank you for agreeing to help. My valet warned me you might come with a friend. I'd prefer as few as possible knew of Albert's flight, but if you trust this man... Like no one else. Any sign of the hunters recently? Since they attacked my servant at the market, none. All has been quiet. But I bribed a man of the Temple Guard. He claims there's more and more talk of Albert in the ranks. How did the Guardsmen learn about your son's interests to begin with? <sighs> Unfortunately, I cannot be sure Albert himself was not the source. Merely boasting about an experiment. He's careless that way. Like his father. A kind man, but a dimwit. Devoured by an Arrakis. I don't know if you've heard. Yeah. Must have traveled far and wide. Hardly. He attempted to breed them. Perhaps I should be pleased Albert adopted alchemy as his hobby. A safe one, relatively speaking. Until recently, that is. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret. It won't be long. Is your son ready to go? We'll have to act quickly. Yes, I've seen to everything. Where will you take him? You're better off not knowing any details. He'll be safe, I promise. But... Please, trust me. It's not the first time I've done this. I know. Thank you. How will we recognize him? He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. Seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. Don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! Let's go find him. I shall await word from you. And then... <laughs> yes? Nice mask. Rawr. <laughs> Albert Vagelbud. No. <laughs> I am a black panther. <laughs> oh my count! Your mom sent us, Mr. Panther. Oh, so you are. Yes, 
When can we leave the estate? Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later, a jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden, and we'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. Relieved to get that mask off, if only for a little. Great view from here, and there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. An amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about... Yes? About that mage we met earlier? Ah, oh, Moritz. What do you want to know? How'd you meet? <sighs> Geralt, all mages know each other. Some are well over a century old. That's plenty of time to make acquaintances. In that case, when did you meet him? At a feast, long ago. He walked up and just blatantly offered to teleport us somewhere quieter. Seemed just like the type. Oh, really? At the time, to me, he seemed sweet. He actually pursued me for a while afterwards. Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than his leader. See, but you're the one organizing the mage's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. Personal charm. That's what it's about. <laughs> Careful, that sounded like a compliment. Glad it did. Oh. Are you trying to... Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No, just some lost guest. Shh. <laughs> Must be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, biag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. Sooner we get out of here, the better. Oh, no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely, entirely... Entirely what? Nude. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Miss Merigold, at last! So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. You can say that again. But I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. We'll go first. Geralt will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there. Oh, I've begun to worry. Everything's fine. Now you should probably send someone to... Uh, clean up the garden. Before any guests wander in there. I'm to send servants to the garden? Yes. I shall see to it. And you must hurry. Everything set? Yes. Got your swords back from the guard. And Ingrid gave me the coin. It's, uh, it's more than I 
expected. Stunningly more, frankly. Glad I could help you collect it. You'll find a good use for it. It's finally possible, probable even, that we can get all the mages out of Novigrad. You know where to find me if you want to say goodbye. Goodbye? What happened at the fountain? It was my fault, I know, but the wine went straight to my head. I'm sorry. Triss, don't apologize. Miss Marigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful. But I paid in advance, the entire month. You did. I'm out of coin. But you've got something else, dear. Give us a necklace and get out of here. Hands off or I'll cut them off. Geralt, you don't need to. I wanna. Grab your things and let's go. Get out! Now! When I need your help, I'll ask for it. What? Are you angry? Ugh, oh, angry? No. But they deserved the necklace. They risked a lot just by sheltering me. They took a risk, sure, for a hefty fee. Yes. The thing is, they could have taken the coin and turned me over to the hunters, but they didn't, which was extremely honorable by Novigrad standards. Please don't make excuses for them. Geralt, we could debate morals or any number of other topics, but I don't have time for that now. You saw what's happening in the city. How can I help? Everything's falling apart. I don't know where to start. I should get all the mages to the docks as soon as possible. Get them on board this ship. But Berthold and Anise have yet to show up at the meeting point. Berthold and Anise, who are they? A young couple. He's an alchemist, had a practice in Gildorf. She studied at Aratusa. I'm worried the people who hit them might have turned them in. See, my hosts weren't all bad. Won't be easy getting to the port. Lots of guardsmen in the streets. So we won't take the streets. In case of trouble, we were all to meet at the Kingfisher. There's a passage into the sewers from the cellar, and apparently those can get you all the way to the docks. I know the Novigrad sewers. Won't run into any hunters there, but that doesn't mean it'll be safe. That's why I'm asking you. I need you to find the way to the docks, clear the path for the others, and do it quickly. The hunters could figure out our plan any minute. Now you understand my predicament? Mm -hmm. Help two and put all the others at risk. Or go straight to the Kingfisher, abandon the two to certain death. What do I do, Geralt? We should help Anise and Bertold. To write them off like that, it'd be cruel. Fine. But then we need to go now. Clock's ticking. Lead the way. You alright? Can you walk? Y yeah, yes. I'll not leave here. I'm no fool. Bertold. Have you seen what's happening out there? They'll catch us before we can reach the port. Catch us and kill us. We're going. Now. Go... going. Thanks. We need to join the others. So Damn it. We took too long. Too long? We set out to rescue two people. Yes, and lost one. Knew exactly what he was signing up for. Small comfort. This is no time to mourn. Come with me. Triss? What happened upstairs? Is everything all right? No, everything's not all right. Geralt, wait a minute. I need to see who made it. Why the tears, my dear lady? You shouldn't worry yourself. It tarnishes your beauty. Guess you must have worried quite a bit. No, 
I was born ugly. Are you fleeing to Kavir too? No, but I am helping the others set off. Start bleeding now. They've been burning mages for months around here. But only since recently on this scale. Besides, I look forward to having friends in Kavir, especially among King Tankra's autonomy. Trace is about to speak. We'll talk later. We've waited long to escape. Till we could make sure Kavir will take us. Till we could acquire enough coin to hire a ship. Till we could find a captain we could trust. We've waited too long. There's no more time for hesitation. We must leave Novigrad today. This is madness. Hunters stand on every corner. So we'll get to the port through the sewers. Garrett will clear a safe path for us. They'll catch us anyway. You'll see. They'll catch us and kill us. Perhaps. In which case we'll die with dignity. Weapons in hand. Not tied to a stake, begging for mercy. If the need arises, I'll defend you. You can also count on my help. Yes, the help of a Redanian spy, one of its right-hand man. That was long ago, sir. You raised that madman. You taught him to kill. You. This is no time to settle past scores. End of discussion. Gonna enter the sewers now. I'll signal when the path's clear. You follow my trail, and don't stray from it, no matter what. I will go with Geralt. You, Dijkstra, go to the port and see that everything's in order with the ship. On my way. We'll meet there. I hope. Triss, really want to go with me? No offense, but... Offense taken. Stop talking and lead the way. Finally. You bloody took long enough. Did you have time to look around? How's the ship? Creaky piece of junk. Woods rotting. Sails are prone to rip like an old pair of knickers. And Will the... we make it to Kavir? Provided you don't run into any storms. I'll signal the others to come. Any help? Can I play the violin for you? Fetch some flowers or bonbons? What the hell's that mean? What? Don't tell me you don't plan to beg her to stay. Why do you even care? I adore love stories. Especially the ones that end happily ever after. Hunters! Hunters approaching! Board the ship! We want them alive! Fucking witch to you! Chase round him! Don't let him drive you back! Hey, Cody! Catch me if I use! Digstra, I don't know how to. No time for courtesies, my dear. Get on board. One last farewell. Thank you. I'll never forget what you did for me. And what we had together. Stay with me. Carol, not this again. Especially not here. Not now. Miss Marigold, we got a sale. Please. We had our chance. But let it go. I... I love you. Miss Mary Gold, we're casting off. Well, mate, at least you tried. A sorceress turned me down once. Want to hear the story? Go for it. What's the harm? As you know, my heart fluttered for Philippa Eilhart back when we both served Redania. One day, 
I doused myself in fragrances like a whore in a heat wave. Put on a pinstripe doublet. They make you look slimmer, you know. And I went to her, told her, Philippa, with so much in common, and so on. You know what she said? Pinstripes hadn't slimmed you down enough. No. She said, Gerald, turn around. Not in the mood for jokes. No, I'm serious. Turn around. Chris, I thought... So did I, but I changed my mind. Good thing women can be changeable. Dijkstra, no offense, but... Leaving, already gone. Let's go somewhere. I know a spot where we can watch the ships. Lead the way. You're safe now, right? Yes, you can stop worrying, really. Oh, you're right. Just hard to believe it's over and done with. I've dreamt of this moment for months. Promise me one thing. You'll stop risking your life for others. No. No? Triss, not a mage left in Novigrad. But you're here. I can defend myself. Well, from Kikimores, Griffins, Bruxay, but not from the hunt. You and Siri will need my help, and I'll be at your side. This how you imagined things? No. I imagined I'd be on the ship with the rest of them, and you'd be on shore. Waving a handkerchief, maybe. I hope you don't regret it, that things have gone differently. Well, they say Kavir is lovely this time of year, but I prefer you. <laughs> Not surprised. I'm pretty lovely this time of year, too. I won't disagree. We might still go there one day, when it's all over. I don't know. Kavir seems so far away. End of the world, really. Hmm, maybe you're right. So how do you envision our future? I'll be Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose. You'll be High Priestess of Melitale. We'll live happily ever after, a horde of kids around us. Oh no, won't get out of it that easy. I asked you a serious question. Where do you see us in, let's say, five years? This is how I see it. We're living in a small town, where everybody knows everybody else. You've got your practice, brewing potions, that sort of thing. And what are you doing? Running around swamps, killing drowners? No. I'm sitting on the porch in a rocking chair, smoking my pipe, listening to the clink of your vials as you work inside. That simple? Mm-hmm, that simple. I missed this Geralt, you know? Meaning? Well, the Geralt who's not afraid to open up to me, tell me what he really feels, what he wants. What I want? <laughs> One more thing. Shh. I know. Signaling us. It's a message. Yeah. 
H L A K B R Hl It makes no sense. It's K. What did you expect? Thank you, Geralt, for this, and for what you said at the port. I should have said it long ago. So, what happens now? Afraid it's a bit too early for happily ever after. We'll get our happy ending one day. Yes, somewhere over a hill and dale. It's a cruel world we live in. It's hard to make plans. Even harder to invest any faith in them. Though you might want to, badly. You were in an entirely different mood a moment ago. Hush. The spark expired. Don't worry about me, Geralt. And please, be careful. I've got to find Ciri. I'm close. I will find her. Or someone who knows what happened to her. Where will we meet? Can only think of one place where both witchers and sorceresses are welcome. Care more. Haven't been there in a while. So, I guess I'll see you, Witcher. I'll miss you. A lot. I'll miss you too. Welcome back, child. Siri! <laughs> My, you've grown beautiful. No point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. All just like I remembered. <laughs> what? Little sis. All here, everyone you asked for help. Avalox resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. Damn, it's good to see you again. Would you like a moment to yourselves? Sorry, we, uh, we didn't mean to... I know. It's a simple question. Do you want some time alone? 
long as you really don't mind. Seemed to take that pretty well. Or wants us to think she did. Haven't been here in a while, have you? Too long. How's the guest room? Anything changed? Mm-hmm. The bed. It, uh, <laughs> broke. Not a problem. We'll sleep on the floor. Spread out a hide and... Ahem. <clears throat> Guess we should go. Thank you for coming. The Wild Hunt will be here soon. They're coming for Ciri. Want to take her? We'll stop them. How do you even know the hunt will show? They always know where I teleport to. And they move from place to place in an instant. So what's our plan? There aren't many of us, but I'd trust any of you with my life. Work together and we'll defeat the hunt. When they attack, Yen will dome the fortress with a magic shield. Hunt will be forced to land outside the walls. If they're dispersed out in the woods, we could hunt down small groups of riders. Got our first volunteer for the hunting party. I'm the second. Count me in, too. Always believed attack is the best defense. The hunt will try to penetrate into the fortress through navigator portals. I can do nothing against this kind of magic, so you'll need to find and close as many as you can while hunting in the woods. Lambert will make us die meridian bombs. Remember the formula? Of course. Excellent. Erden should work on the portals as well. I shall also give you each an amulet. Snap them in half and you'll become invisible, at least while you remain still or move slowly. Move abruptly, engage any foes, clash with them, and they will see you. Apart from that, they will be able to hear you and smell you. If you come across a large unit, do not attack. Signal Triss and she will provide support. I'll look for your signal. As soon as I see it, I'll rain fire on the forest. Remember, there's only a few of us. We have to help each other, work together. If anything goes wrong and the hunt puts us on the defensive, we pull back, make a stand at the gates of the fortress. The inner courtyard is our last line of defense. If we don't stop them there, we're doomed. Ciri's most important in all of this. The hunt's after her, and we have to defend her at all costs. What do I do? Stay inside the keep. If they break through, come inside. We'll all converge to help you. Out of the question. I can look after myself. No one doubts that, child. But remember the most important moment when hunting a monster? <sighs> Wait for an opportunity. After the council, I'll give you an amulet. If you use it, a ball of fire will land where you're standing, just in case. What else do we have that we can use? Since you plan to ambush the hunt in the woods, I could dig some trapping pits, blue stripe style. Meaning? Deep as the dark abyss, bottoms bristling with sharpened stakes. I brought this Mahakaman mix. Flammable as bone dry saltpeter and plowing sticks to everything. We fill some barrels, stack them in a narrow passage, and fire them up at an opportune moment. You know we stand on a vast deposit of gas. If need be, I could open cracks in the earth, create explosions. I would need to prepare, though. There's the laboratory and the workshop. One thing to remember, we've got limited resources and even less time. We ought to decide what kind of weaponry will be most useful against the hunt. Absolutely. We need to assign one type of weaponry each to the lab and workshop. Who needs access to the lab? I started brewing some potions. Like to finish, if you don't mind. I could prepare more of those witcher's traps, but I'd need all the lab equipment. There aren't many of us, so we'll need to prepare as many traps as possible. Let's talk about the workshop. Been wanting to fix that breach in the wall, but we'll need the same tools to clear the rubble from the armory. Rubble? Haven't you heard? Roof caved in a couple of years back. There's some excellent swords in there. 
Swords we could use. Filling in the breach seems just as important. They come through there, the siege will be over awfully quick. Fixing the breach in the wall's a priority. We won't have time to do much else. Everything settled? Yes, settled. We don't have much time, so let's get to work. Let's sum up. Yennefer will create a magic barrier to repel the main assault. That should push the opposing force into the woods, where Lambert, Geralt, and Letha will be waiting. They'll use Dimeridium to close the navigator's portals, stop as many warriors as possible from entering the fortress. Triss will be waiting for their signal, then give the riders hell. All others will repel any foes who make it inside the fortress walls. If anything goes wrong, we abandon the outer courtyard, pull back to the keep. Remember, Aridan can't get his hands on Ciri. That's most important. Let's look at the map of the fortress, figure out the details. Can't help feeling we've overlooked something important. Don't think about it. What's ready? Haven't had much time to prepare. I'm exposing you. You worry too much. Thanks. I'll saddle the horses. Come once you're... Taking Letho with us. You know my opinion.
Geralt! Tried to get in through the main gate. I'm afraid they could succeed next time. Vesco, we have to retreat. He's in trouble. I'm going to help him. Remember the stone I gave you. I'll gladly argue with you about this. Haven't had a chance to talk. Thanks for your help. And for looking after Siri. You will thank me later. Now we must take Cyril from here, Haida, and then gather a greater force. Anyone, everyone we could count on came here to care Morhen. Which is why we must seek the help of enemies. Magic is our best defense against the hunt. We need sorceresses, archmistresses of magic. You mean the Lodge? Many of the Lodge's members are dead. The rest are in hiding. Philippa Eilhart, Margarita Loantil, and Frangilla Vigo are likely still alive. And Francesca and Ida? Think they'd agree? I think they'll take convincing. Would you rather speak to Kira alone? That would probably be best. Don't trust the Lodge one bit, but doesn't seem like we have a choice. Because we don't. I've made an agreement with the Emperor. In exchange for its help, the Lodge will be granted amnesty and find asylum in Nilfgaard. That will be our bargaining chip. Triss, I wish to leave today to find the sorceresses. Will you help me? Of course. Even got an idea where you could start. Damn it! Again you planned without even asking what I think! I've had enough of this! I won't be taken somewhere like a... bundle. I will not sit and twiddle my thumbs. I am sick of waiting, sick of hiding. You're right. Prove today you can take care of yourself. Easier to pat someone on the back and hope things will work out than it is to face the truth. Zirel possesses a great power she cannot control. She is a danger to herself, to others. Until she learns to control it, she should remain isolated. First of all, bollocks. Second, if you're going to speak of courage, at least address me directly and not through Geralt. I'm gone. Siri needs time. True, but she also needs training. She must learn to control her abilities. This training really necessary? You saw what happened. She could be a greater threat than the hunt. Fine. We'll stay here a while longer, then join you and Triss in Novigrad. Meet at Dandelion's Inn. Come on, Yen. The sooner we leave, the better. See ya. Greetings, Triss. Have you lost your mind? You went after Imlarith by yourselves? To the Sabbath? How could you put Siri in danger? Siri had to do it. I couldn't let her go alone. You'd have done the same in my boots. Besides, I'd never let anything happen to Siri. You know that. on the way into town, non-humans on them. Things grow worse by the day. No mage is left in the city, so the hunters had to find someone else to victimize. We need to resolve everything as quickly as possible and leave Novograd. Any success with the Lodge? Anyone out there willing to help? It doesn't look good. Ida outright refused, while Francesca won't budge from her little realm with a war raging. We don't know about Fringilla. Haven't been able to contact her. And the others? Kira, Margarita, Philippa? Kira? 
I thought you of all people would know. If you can refuse a sorceress, and Kira Metz certainly had her ways. But when she demanded the Mage Alexander's notes, I had to turn her down. Kira needed that, as she needed the impetus to start anew. She found it where she least expected to. Years later, known for discovering the cure for the Catriona Plague, she was thankful none remembered her time in hiding as a village witch. I've seen worse matches. Hope things work out for them. I hope they work out for us, and we actually find Philippa and Rita. Know where they are? Yennefer's looking into Rita's whereabouts. I have to figure out where Philippa is. So, learn anything? A few things that could be interesting. Prefer the long version or the short? Tell me everything. I want the details. After fleeing Loch Mui, Philippa ended up here in Novigrad. She sought help from her former lover, the sorcerer Arthur de Vlister. Philippa and a former lover? Something tells me happily ever after is not how that story ends. Philippa had made a fool of him once. Arthur was out for revenge. He convinced her she'd be safest as an owl. She transformed, and he placed a dimeridium band on her leg. The mage hunt started shortly afterwards. Sadly, Arthur fell victim. They auctioned off his estate. Just so happened a certain dwarven acquaintance of ours stumbled on the auction. Zoltan. Huh. So Philippa was here under our noses the whole time? Was, precisely. Zoltan lost her in a card game a few days ago. Yep, that's Zoltan for you. A man showed up here, fleeced Zoltan Bear, then proposed they play for the Owl. Naturally, he won, then politely thanked Zoltan for the game and left. Who was it? Know where he lives? He's not from here. No one knows him. Great. We got any leads? We have this. That Philippa the Owl's feather? Thinking divination? Specifically hydromancy, and a form of sortilage. We need a fountain where we won't be disturbed. One outside the Passiflora could work. Good idea. Let's go. We're here. Nice and quiet. Shouldn't be any disturbances. Let's begin. Observe the water's surface carefully. We can't let anything go unnoticed. Graham et Weir, Robert Michele, Alferte. What's that? Uh, nothing. A preliminary image. What? Stop interrupting, I have to focus. Graham et Weir, De Agnes Kerle, Es Pirchena, A Es Clays. Looks familiar. A bathhouse. I know the place. Dijkstra. He has her. At his bathhouse. Might have guessed as much. That was the recent past. Anything might happen to her in Dijkstra's hands. Let's go. Not so fast. The first image. What was that? Nothing. Really. Don't brush me off. I know how hydromancy works. Image appeared because you're thinking about it. It was... King Tancred asked me to become his court advisor in Kavir. You mentioned Kavir in the lighthouse. I understand why now. The vision was of a house, not a royal court. It's the house that awaits us in Pont Vanis. When we're done here, when all this is over, once we've defeated the hunt and Ciri's safe, I'd like us to live there, together. Guess you've got everything planned out. You don't like it? I like it. A lot. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'll tell you the details later. Right now, we need to get Philippa. Right. Come on. I hope we get there in time. I hope Dijkstra hasn't already hurt her. The possibilities are many. Could be Dijkstra that got hurt. Not likely. Dijkstra never forgave her for sending assassins after him. And Philip is weakened, no doubt about it. Weakened, maybe, but still a powerful sorceress. If Dijkstra's men take the Dimeridium off, Philip will kill them before they can say, oh shit. Watch out! Gonna be sick. Guess they underestimated Philip, huh? Surrender! This place is a maze, witch! You'll never get out! Goddamn fools! After her! We'll handle this. Oh no, no, no! The sorceress stays here! Stay here, Tris, in case she tries to flee this way. Be careful. She might be blind, but she's still dangerous. And don't hurt her. Sorry to take so long, but I had to deal with the guards. Hello, Triss. Philip, are you alright? I've been better. I'll get you out of here. Gonna be alright? Yeah, thanks for your help. Got a minute? Of course. Not sure if you've heard, but once it's all over, I'm going to Kuvir. With Triss? Mm-hmm. Interesting part of the world. Perhaps you'll get a contract for some rare snow beast. A Babagazi or a Vendigo or a, a, an Amarok? Or maybe I'll finally hang up my swords. <laughs> it's that good with her? Better. Geralt? So, there you were in Putrid Grove, and out of nowhere I show up. What did you think? Honestly? Oh no, not him again. <laughs> Figured as much. You weren't easy to find, you know. You'd recovered your memory, found Yennefer, so... Naturally, I thought the two of you... But it turned out my amnesia changed nothing. Wanted to be with you, before, during, after, always. I know that now. Triss, everything all right? Yes. I, I just wanted a moment to talk to you. Before... before it begins. Chin up. The hunt's weakened. We've got... No, no more about the battle. Just... hold me. And say something nice. Hmm. There's a lighthouse not far from here, you know. Geralt, aren't you suggesting we... No. Well, at least not right now. Just wanted to say... Wanted to say that since, since Novigrad, whenever I see the beam of a lighthouse, I feel good thinking of you. Unbelievable. You said something romantic. You, Geralt of Rivia. Moment of weakness. Well, none of those during the battle, please. If anything should happen to you. I'll manage. You always say that. I haven't killed me yet. Well, except for that one time. Ah, uh, Geralt, you're so charming when you try to be funny. Try? Take it back. That was a great joke. <laughs> sure. I love you, you know. You trying to make me cry? Siri'd never let me forget it. Go on, get. Huh. 
love you too. Yeah, I might believe you if you showed me a pair of monogram Batiste Galagaskins. <laughs> More likely, you just say I stole them. <laughs> Dim wits. Weren't you supposed to be somewhere? Yeah. All right. Where'd you agree to meet? by the Huntsman's Cottage. Hard as it may be to believe, Geralt planted roots in faraway Kovir. He and Triss settled down, their home warm and smelling of freshly baked cakes. Guests were always welcome, no matter the day or the hour. The Witcher would take jobs at times more from habit than need, for Triss earned a true fortune as the mage advisor to Kovir's king. Letter? Who from? Can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver it. Here. And thanks. No, sir. Thank you. And I truly hope I'll be of service again. My dear Geralt. I hope all is well. I imagine you hot on the trail of some nasty monster. Or is it an overly complex curse this time? Oh, Geralt, I wish I knew for certain. Whatever is keeping you busy, perhaps you'll need a break. For those moments, I offer you this intriguing little mystery I happened on in an old manuscript I bought off a merchant from Nazaire. The tome's author claims a certain Professor Moreau, once called Beauclair Home, and this professor conducted research into Witcher mutations. I don't know much else, but I suspect that alone might pique your interest. The tome mentioned a journal interred with the scholar when he passed. It could very well lead you to his laboratory. I'm enclosing a map I found folded in the tome. It's smudged in a few places, but I hope it proves useful anyway. Please be careful and come back to me quickly. Your Triss. Master Witcher, some unknown individual barged into the residence. I resisted as best I could, but to no avail. Who is it? Alas, they did not do me the basic courtesy of introducing themselves. In the flesh. Ah, I thought you were in Kavir. I got tired of waiting for you, so I decided to head to Toussaint. Catch some sun, see how things are going. You said it would only take a moment. Things are pretty much wrapped up, luckily. We'll be able to head north soon. I hope you're not upset I came like this, without warning. True, I haven't always been fond of surprises. They remind me of work, the law of surprise, surprise child. But I think I've changed my mind. Seems surprises can actually be pleasant. Very pleasant. Let's go outside. There's this one cozy spot you're gonna love. Things in Kovir. Amazingly boring and predictable. 
council meetings mainly concern trade matters, tariffs, storage regulations, that sort of thing. Missing the excitement? You know the Athiri saying, may you live in interesting times? Well, I've already done that, and now I'm looking for a bit of quiet. The other mages I brought with me from Novigrad, or who made it north on their own feel the same. You wouldn't recognize them. No conspiracies, cabals, plotting. They just sit there and work, for the good of the kingdom. Sometimes I think it's all too lovely to be true. That something's bound to happen. Another war, or some other horror. <sighs> but for now, it's nice. And once you finish your business here and come join me, it'll be even better. So, how do you like my vineyard? I think you know the answer to that. I like it a lot. House is big, but not showy. Lovely location. Perfect for romantic getaways. Just finished some remodeling. Paid through the nose for it, but I think it was worth it. There are already some new saplings and flowers around the grounds, but I think it's still missing something. Hmm. Maybe a hedge maze? With a statue in the center? One that's stately and nude. Oh, Geralt. Don't bring up that ball. The wine got to my head and I... Not bringing it up to tease, but to reminisce. That evening, it was magic. And your dress. You looked lovely in it. I've got it with me. I could put it on one evening. We'll dine outside by candlelight. Listen to the music of the cicadas. Hmm? Can't wait. How'd you find me? Kavir's a long way off. I have my ways, Geralt. A hydromancy, for example. Oh yeah, that's right. So, what becomes of us? See anything else in the reflection? Mm-hmm. Zoltan moves in. Please tell me you're joking. <laughs> you can breathe easy. Far as I know, he settled down in Novigrad and has no intention of budging. In all seriousness, though, I did see a few scraps of our future, but I'd rather not tell you exactly what. Why not? Because you said you've grown to like pleasant surprises. This is your first time in Tucson, right? Want me to show you around a bit? Sorry, but I've already made plans. Oh? What are you going to do? Lie down in the sun, and not move an inch. Ah, right. A packed schedule. Not overdoing it a tad. Oh, gotta get the most of this weather before I return north. Know that joke about how to tell when summers come to Kavir? The rain isn't quite so cold. <laughs> and sadly, that's not far from the truth. Oh, I shouldn't have told you that. Now you'll change your mind and not come join me. I wouldn't worry about that. Mind if I leave you here alone for a moment? Just a moment. <laughs>